what is up guys it's Jose here and welcome back to my YouTube channel so in this video I want to explain how I was able after many many years to open up my breathing to completely open up my diaphragm and to learn to breathe correctly after many many years of struggling with my breath I tried many many things and this really was the only thing that helped me to um, to really open up and relax my diaphragm um, you know and to, just to give you a little bit of background I, I for many many years I struggled with breathing I tried things like the Wim Hof method um, the oxygen advantage and, and nothing really worked because my diaphragm was so blocked and so tense there was so much tension that I couldn't breathe correctly right so things like learn to breathe into your belly start breathing into your belly or doing the Wim Hof method doing all these 30 40 uh, power breaths to really oxygenate your body it just didn't work for me right and uh, and it was because I was only able to breathe like 60% of my lungs capacity I wasn't able to connect my breath I couldn't connect my chest to my uh, belly I couldn't connect my belly to my rib cage to my chest it was just tense and, and, and blocked it was like just a full stop, like a like a wall between my chest and my and my belly. So um, this this was the only way. I, I did it. It was it was quick. It was effective. In less than a week, I saw results. So I'm gonna explain exactly how I did it. Again, it's super super simple. I will explain. I won't show you, but it's very simple. So just you know, um, just listen to what I'm saying and try it out, and you'll see that you'll get results really really quickly. I saw again. I saw it in, in like less than a week. I saw how my breathing was uh, was improved like big time, right? So it basically comes down into getting your body into a stretched position, right? Which stretches out your chest, your rib cage, your uh, shoulders, and from that position, which at the same time restricts your breathing, which you might think is the opposite of what you want to do, but trust me, you want to do this. So it restricts your breathing, and so from this position. You want to be able to relax your body, which will maybe be a bit tough in the beginning, but you know, don't stretch too much. Like just get to the point where you feel you're restricted in your breathing, where you're stretching out your body and where you can relax at the same time. So just find your own level, right? Um, and so what that will do is it will stretch out all the muscles that restrict your breathing and at the same time strengthen your diaphragm. It will stretch it out and it will strengthen it at the same time, which will make it, will, will, what it will do, what that will do is that it will allow your diaphragm to stay relaxed for the rest of the day and be strong at the same time. Because when it's weak, it wants to, you know, just be tight, uh, to be stable and we don't want that. So we're going to stretch it out, strengthen it and you'll be able to breathe deeply and into your belly very, very quickly. Right? So the first one I do is simply walk to any doorway you have or like um, two walls that come together like in a 90 degree angle. Just place your hand, two hands on either sides of the wall or the doorway, step forward, have your chest, your arms in this stretch position, come forward, try not to bring your head forward, keep your head, your chin tucked in, right? And from that position, just relax as much as you can. If you cannot relax, then you're probably stretching way too much. So take a step a little bit back. Don't come all the way here. Maybe just come till here, right? Just stretch it a little bit. And through your nose, breathe as deeply as you as you can. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably won't be able to breathe that deeply. If you can't even breathe deeply, um, in a normal position then in this position it will be even harder but all I want you to do is to relax as much as you can okay and try to breathe into your pelvic floor okay now maybe you won't be able to breathe that deeply the first time but try that's it and don't force it this is the most important part okay do not try to force your breath down into your belly relax breathe don't judge what is supposed to be happening how deeply you should be able to breathe okay don't analyze don't think 
just feel, relax into your body, and try to breathe just till, if it's still here, if it's till your rib cage, then that's fine. If it's higher, if it's if you can only breathe into your chest, then that's fine as well. If you can breathe a little bit deeper, then that's good too. Just breathe as deeply as you can, without forcing, without trying, without analyzing, without thinking, okay, without tensing up. This is the most important part. You need to relax. The deep, like how deep you go does not matter because that will improve over time. The most important part is that you allow your body to relax because only in this relaxed state you will be able to start to breathe, you know, more deeply and more deeply. And maybe it won't happen the first few days, right? Maybe you won't feel anything. Maybe it will be too tense the first few days. But over time, as you stretch out those muscles, what you'll find is that it will become easier and easier. And so what I want you to do, regardless of how deep you can breathe, I want you to try and notice that there is some sort of pressure coming up against your pelvic floor. Even if you're not breathing that deeply, if you have the intention to breathe deeply into your diaphragm, even if it hits that wall and you can go lower, there will probably still be some sort of pressure in that will be felt into your pelvic floor, okay? So just be in this position, relax, keep your chin tucked in, and just breathe and allow your rib cage, your diaphragm, your chest, your uh, shoulders to, uh, to, to stretch out, to breathe opened up right and so this is exercise number one the other one I do is to do basically the same thing but lying down okay so if you're really really tight you actually might want to start with this one do both it doesn't matter so I do both to do five minutes with one five minutes with the other one or maybe there's one you enjoy much more so you can do like five minutes just one or ten minutes like the more you do obviously the quicker you're gonna see results and that is just to lay down on your back, on the floor. Have your arms behind you, right? Up like this and just have them relax. Just lay down like this. And again, what this will do is it will open up, it will stretch out your chest, your diaphragm, your, your um, abdominal wall, your shoulders, your rib cage. And again, you will be in a restricted position, so it will become more difficult to breathe deeply. All I want you to do is to relax. Do not tense up. All right? Do not analyze. Do not think about how deeply you should be able to breathe or how it should look like, how it should feel like. Just relax. Breathe as deeply as you can. Again, without tensing up, do not force. Just relax. Okay, and that is it. So one is standing against the wall, stretching out your chest, your arms, your rib cage, and the other one is laying down and having your arms um, above your head, right? Probably within less than a week, you'll be able to breathe much more deeply, much more relaxed, and um, way deeper into your diaphragm. And, uh, you know, after a few weeks, it will get better and better and better. It kind of feels like a meditation at some point when you learn to relax into these positions where you just focus on your breathing and it really relaxes the body. So it has, you know, other benefits as well as it will just relax your nervous system, uh, help you feel more, uh, more calm, more peace and just better overall. Uh, so this is also really good for digesting your food because your nervous system gets into a uh, rest and digest state, uh, parasympathetic nervous system. And so it just has way more benefits than you might know of right now. And so give it a try and uh, let me know how it goes.